afternoon, sir. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy schedule to meet with us. We are so excited about this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Well, 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 how about we just get on with it, all right? Oh, um, okay, well, as you know, we here at the Disney Story Department have been looking at the next slate of Disney animated films. And, and to be honest with you, sir, we've kind of mined all of the classic fairy tale stories that are out there. But then one of us had, if I may say so, a brilliant idea. Well, brilliant might be a little strong of a word for it. <laughs> um, see, what I was thinking is that we already have a Disney property that, that is not a classic bedtime story. Pocahontas! Pocahontas! So, you want to make Pocahontas too? Oh, no, 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 no. We have wanted that cash cow till it ran dry. I mean, what are we up to right now? Like, Pocahontas uh, six, seven? Eight, actually. She's going to Mars! <laughs> <laughs> no, what we were thinking is that we have more, more films that are based upon, you know, like true stories and history. And the best part? No royalties. Oh, well, that sounds like it has potential. <laughs> uh, did you have any specific ideas? Well, I am glad you asked, sir. Because, see, we here at the Disney Story Department have several ideas we think would be perfect as Disney animated films. Okay. Picture this. A young girl living in poverty. She suddenly receives these magical visions. Visions <laughs> which lead her to lead a huge army in defense of her homeland. Disney presents Joan of Arc! <laughs> and the best part is, we've already signed Justin Bieber as the, the voice of the singing sword. Oh, that's right. A singing sword. <laughs> it's testing very well in the toy department. Well, I, I like that idea, but uh, kind of sounds like Mulan, don't you think? <gasps> Fair point. Uh, yeah, I guess it does. All right, well, you know, whatever. Let's uh, let's kick this over to development, have them work the story a little bit, see what they come up with. What else do you have? Okay, picture this. As with all classic Disney tales, we start out with a young girl named Marie. Through a series of misadventures, she meets a young prince named Louis, and together they defeat an evil court jester and his pet vulture. Disney presents Marie Antoinette. And the best part is that she has the ability to talk to cakes and pastries. Oh, <laughs> did there. It's, uh, let them eat cake, right? That's very clever. Oh, thank you, sir. We believe that Marie has the potential to join Ariel and Aurora and all the other classic Disney princesses. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I really like what you've done here, gentlemen. I think it uh, sets a great uh, direction a for the company. <laughs> Actually, really sir, uh, if you liked those ideas, you are going to love our last one. So again, picture a young girl. Her and her family are forced into hiding after a neighboring country has invaded their homeland. While in hiding, she learns about life, love, and herself. Disney presents the Diary of Anne Frank. <laughs> and we're already in talks with Zach Galifianakis as the voice of the diary, which is be the narrator. <laughs> well, that is quite an idea. So, frankly, gentlemen, I am still, still a woman. I am a little disappointed with you. Disney. The name of Disney has always represented the quality and family values. I will not sully this young girl's tragic story by turning it into a vehicle to sell lunchboxes and action figures. You know what? Disney will tell this story, but we will tell it with the respect and the gravitas that it deserves. What are we doing with the Muppets? <laughs> <laughs> and see!